Mr. Investor, welcome back to the channel, baby. Today we're going to be discussing some very interesting findings. I hope this video is going to be as valuable, titillating, and entertaining as possible. So I love and appreciate all you guys, my bingo brothers and sisters. None of this is financial advice. This is only my entertaining findings. And oh boy, did I piece together some pie. So today we're going to discuss a different revenue stream of income for our bio nano genomics. So I'm going to unravel this present for you, baby. We're going to discuss my thoughts on these niches. So our beloved bio nanogenomics has been used in two fields and they offer services with partners one is animal and the other one is plants oops not that kind of plant i really do hope you enjoy this research my cowboys and cowgirls yeehaw and if you're new around here i'd just like to reduce myself reduce introduce myself my name is miguel i look for the biggest juiciest growth stocks and i make entertaining videos on them also before we begin i just want to thank you know all of my boss level investors shout out to jay joseph tmg and fred thank you very much for supporting me i want to tell all my true support that I love you thank you so much and if you're able to support me literally just click the join button up here it's only 99 cents a month it helps me to create great videos like this but if you're unable to support me just you hitting the like button and clicking subscribe is enough for me thank you so much I love you all okay baby first things first we've gone from a 25 cent stock all the way up to nearly 14 you know what I'm saying rags to riches and what I've done is I've been popping into reddit thank you Kevin for telling me about this bingo group and it's got nearly 6,000 members and some of them just bring up some interesting ideas so this fine and dandy man savings intention 62 they were talking about possible ways that bingo can actually make money so something sparked my interest in here this man said there are also benefits in understanding genomics and agriculture so we're talking about livestock plants for crops and to breed stronger healthier animals or create superfoods this cowboy took me for a wild ride this man here said genome mapping for pets if you drop three thousand dollars on a dog what's another five hundred dollars to know that your dog has a gene that makes him more susceptible to a specific disease he then said he would give him special vitamins to prevent the disease. So as soon as he said this, I thought to myself, I know people who spend £60 a week giving their poodles a little trim. So I thought if Bingo was actually to do this with their Sapphire system and partner with, you know, animal centers or vets, this could be a very lucrative niche. So after pondering for a moment, I thought to myself, you know what, let me find out. So I found studies that they had already stated that they're looking at this. They're looking at the animal genomic revolution. Yes, baby, we're looking at our beautiful chihuahuas. I mean, German shepherds so in the land down under we found that these guys at the australian institute of tropical health and medicine were actually looking into the genomic structure of german shepherd dogs so why did they do this research the background research behind the german shepherd dog is because it's one of the most common breeds on earth and it's been bred for not only utility and intelligence but it's often the first choice for police military work close protection disability assistance and search and rescue so here as you can see it says that they studied a healthy german shepherd female and they wanted to check for reference for future disease and evolutionary studies and they actually used a holistic genome toolkit so you can see here they've got pacific bioscience they've got both oxford nanopore 10x genomics bio nano baby and high c technologies and the reason why they did this is so they can build a whole genome profile they want to build a solid profile and what's the best way you provide a fuller richer and more accurate view into biology you use all of these tools so they made sure to use optical mapping with bio nano genomics so the reason why they did this study is because there's lots of common German Shepherd health problems. These poor doggies, they experience anything from hip dysplasia to elbow dysplasia, bloating, epilepsy, diabetes, cataracts. They even get allergies, pancreatitis, and the list goes on. They can even get cancer. And it's so sad to see these dogs on wheels, man. I hate seeing this stuff. And the results of this study managed to create a German Shepherd's dog. Genome assembly and annotation were produced with major improvement to completeness, continuity, and quality over the existing Canids reference. Canid or Canidae is a biological family of dog like carnivorans so a member of this family is called a canid i just had to clear that up because i didn't know what it meant baby so yeah what they found is by building this kind of holistic genome profile using all of the tools together this resource will further enable research related to canine diseases the evolutionary relationships of canids and all other aspects of canid biology and so with these dogs you know it's painful for the dog to suffer in later life so if you are a pet owner and you're spending this much money on a dog you would love to look at the genomic profile and actually look at the disease so here it's actually saying that you know dogs who are fed too much exercise too hard or injured they can actually damage their hips when they're young so they get this when they're older and if they get this apparently you're not supposed to breed them so as you see here dogs already exhibiting this issue are not supposed to be bred now we're going to talk about plants sticky icky 
So when the guy was talking about plants on Reddit and agriculture as well, I wanted to see, are we already doing this? And boom, boom, boom. Looky here, there are plenty of uses here for bio nanogenomics. So looky, looky. As you can see here, there's many uses for genomics and agriculture. With large scale breeding, they're identifying areas of biological interest for crossbreeding. So crossbreeding, why is this important? Because when the plants make love, you wanna make sure that they have the best characteristics possible. So we're talking about the juiciest apples and the tastiest coconuts. So here you can see the benefits of plant breeding. I'm gonna list a few to you that I've written down here. So it's to introduce traits and genes. So we're talking about desirable, sweeter, faster growing. It's to produce crops that are resistant to disease and pests. You can also improve yields. So we're talking about more fruit, more crops, more trees. And ultimately this means more money for farmers. Feed the world, baby. So you can see why the market could be very important for research, academia, and discovery. And then I scrolled down and I was looking at their publications. So I wanted to see here, what are these all about? So as you can see that there's three publications here that they listed. So one of them was looking at corn. So a multi-genome analysis of maize reveals previously unknown variation in gene content, genome structure, and methylation. The other study was actually exploring sugarcane and aphid resistance genes. So as I said before, you want to make sure that your plants are not going to be affected by pests because ultimately they're going to destroy your crops, they're going to reduce your yield. And this final one here was exploring rice. So as we know, rice is a major staple food throughout the world and a model system for plant genomics and breeding. So what they wanted to do here was make sure that they get the most desirable kind of characteristics of plants but they made sure that they wanted to be able to breed climate resistant varieties for the 21st century they don't want to lose their you know rice to over flooding can rice be flooded so they wanted to make sure that the rice is as genetically strong as possible so the next thing i did was i looked at the genetics market and i saw how much is this actually worth so in 2018 for animals the uh, global genetics market was roughly about 6.1 billion but they were saying that it was about 4.9 percent compounded annual growth rate so factors such as increasing population and rapid global urban and also the growing preference for animal protein and adoption of various genetic services are going to be what drives the market here. So they're also speaking about cows and how they were making sure that they're not susceptible to uh, common diseases for cattle farmers. And what's really interesting was they were looking at live animal outlooks, genetic materials outlook in terms of embryo and semen. They were looking at services outlooks as well for genetic tests and traits testing as well as disease. And they were expecting the whole global market of animal genetics to be about 8.9 billion by 2026. Now this one one's gonna blow your mind. So here we have almost 90 billion dollars, you know, for global agricultural biotechnology market. And that's in 2018. They're expecting this to grow at a compounded annual growth rate, 7.07%, baby. So then as I was scrolling through and I saw how much is this market worth, I was looking for names and I wanted to see, are we working with anyone? And I saw this name here, Corteva. I was looking at several references. So I looked here, genetic technologies in agriculture, 2020 to 2030. And what did I find again? Currently four big companies here, Bayer, BASF, Syngenta, and Corvetta AgriScience. And this amounts for over 60% of the market. And do we provide this service? Yes, we do, because one of our partners is Corvetta AgriScience. So we are working with some of the biggest and juiciest companies out here. And I think we are definitely a piece of the puzzle for the genomic toolkit. And it ain't just me, Arkinvest seems to think so. So how did I do in this video, people? Please let me know. Also, if I missed anything uh, with regards to these two kind of markets and fields, let me know in the comments below drop me some comments and if you can can you please write bio nanogenomics hashtag bingo and then write cowboy yeehaw and in terms of these markets they're going to be growing for many years to come baby feed the world if you like this kind of video just click the join button above it's only 99 cents a month but if you can click it my brothers and sisters i appreciate you just you hitting like and clicking subscribe you mean the world to me mr invest a lot over and out baby Shh.